our two-day trip to Norway. Unfortunately, ended. It was a little bit too little, but it was absolutely amazing weekend here. Yeah, it forced us to do a lot in a small amount of time. This is my eighth film about Norway, and in this film I'm making a summary and give some recommendations what to see within two days in Norway when driving from Sandefjord to Eidfjord. We flew from Riga to Oslo or Sandefjord airport by Ryanair. It was very comfortable because uh, at the airport we have rented an electric vehicle and the uh, charging system in Norway is very good. The roads are free, we didn't need to pay and charging stations are quite often and parking places also are free. To see the scenic road number 7, Harden Garvida, you have to drive across Norway. We got me coffee and pastry, 230 kilometers, we can drive with 81% of charged car. around two hours we are driving something yeah. like that yeah because we had couple two of hours stops. direction of Bergen it's not sunny not the sunny day today but it's very pleasant to drive <laughs> I like to be in <laughs> all right <laughs> Beautiful wooden architecture and green roofs you must see in Norway. Look at this. I don't know. We have to ask locals what are those buildings. I'm trying to understand, but there are... In this house I have two of them and very interesting form. in the Norwegian sheep farm here and so funny because uh, the sheep are eating the grass and the bells are ringing do you hear yeah no that's where they live <laughs> <Big grass. laughs> oh goats goats, goats. Keep on going slow because the goats are here. The drive is long and you have to make a couple of stops before getting to Eidfurt. We stopped in Haugastol, Turand, Hargenden, Wida and Forenfossen and some other towns uh, and places. Forbidden to walk, forbidden to swim. You can just look at it. 
It's a forbidden place. Yes. <laughs> Okay. These houses are near the river, but... Maybe it, people live there. Do they rent these houses out, or do people just live here? Okay, well, it's a very nice place to live. Yes, All right. We stopped in JLO to spend the night and charge the car. It's located exactly in the middle, around 250 kilometers from Oslo and Bergen. It's a winter sports resort, one of Scandinavia's most popular alpine destinations. Today is the second day. We are in Norway and we are driving to see uh, the fjord, 92 kilometers, uh, one and a half hour. It's foggy day, kind of overcast. Norwegian scenic road Hardengervida runs from Eid Fjord by the fjord to Haugastol at the high mountain plateau Hardengervida. It follows the national road number seven and has a total distance of 67 kilometers. Along the scenic road, you will encounter the narrow, steep valley of Mabodalen, the great waterfall Wörngfossen, high mountains and glaciers in the far distance, and Hargendenvida, Northern Europe's largest mountain plateau and also Norway's largest national park. On this road you will definitely enjoy the driving because the landscapes are changing and nature is not only so different but also extremely beautiful. So here we are. See the snow over the mountains, that's why it's so cold. We are getting out of the car yes. to see the wonders. So we'll <laughs> we have to stack a rock. City of the of the rocks. The weather is nice, no rain, a little bit chilly, and we enjoy our morning. We have got our coffees. Oh, it's difficult. Don't destroy. <laughs> I did it. Good. It was very interesting place to stop. We decided to do it. Yep. Now we're going to get back in our warm car. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> People live here like Snow roads. Friends. Beautiful. Snow in the snow in the distance. I found berries. Oh. I don't know what type of berries are these. Well pick many, the, many of them. Pick the berries. I don't know. I would I would look it up first on uh, the internet. <laughs> look. Maybe they are healthy. Norwegians call these berries crackling. Owing to their juristic qualities, they were also named piss berries. They are nutritional for health. One of the things I find so interesting about this area is that in the mountains, there's ponds at very uh, lots of different levels. Here's a pond. There's a lot of ponds up there, we just can't see them right now. Probably goes to the fjord. No, 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 no. It's a dangerous area. Let's check it out. It looks very deep here. It does look and deep. There oh. is something written in Norwegian, which is very popular in Norway, because you can read in Norwegian, and if you don't understand Norwegian, there is no you're out way. Of luck. Yeah, you're out of luck. So we decided to make selfies here with this powerful water. 
very beautiful point of Norway. And I'm holding my warm, wonderful wife. <laughs> and I'm holding my warm, wonderful camera. Oh. We are on the top of the mountain somewhere in Norway. Now we are starting uh, to drive down. I, I was watching this and thinking that if there is a heaven of the world, this is a one of them. This is one of them, yep. Nice. Of course you can stay longer time in each of the points we showed you in this film. However, we had only two days and we had to drive back to Sandefjord. Thank you Norway, thank you Norwegians and all people who we met, we didn't meet so many of them. But yeah, it's the, one of the nicest things is to see an economy that actually works for its people and not just the big guys. It's amazing. Americans just don't know what they're missing. Yes, the quality of roads, uh, the, you know, housing we experienced also. Mm, good hotels, uh, everything is clean on streets and people uh, have good cars and tiny, not 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 huge houses like many Americans, but uh, most but of nice them, houses nice that houses. you can live in. We drew a lot, we saw a lot, but we would love to see more and we definitely return. We are driving to the airport now and I'm flying back to Riga and Mick flies to London, so we right. separate To get my passport stamp. Yes. <laughs> because I was two days over Schengen in Latvia. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. So he flies to London and then from London back to Riga and we meet each other almost at midnight today in Riga as everything goes smoothly. So we are in the airport a little too early. Uh, this airport is not so big and we have plenty of time. I'm flying to Riga, Mick flies to London. Uh, my flight is at 11, Mick's flight is at 3 p.m. So we have, and right now it's around 10. I'm very happy uh, about uh, that, our trip. I'm happy we took it and we have got so many impressions. We just went out of the country and saw some magnificent country and met a lot of nice people, drove a really nice car. Like and subscribe to my channel, watch my films and enjoy your life. See you tonight. Right. Your sparklet.